Hey everyone, you're watching Good Creative Tutorial. Today we're going to create this dispersion effect using a couple custom brushes that I'll provide the support files for. So go ahead and go to Adobe Photoshop and just open up the five support files, these JPEGs. I basically just took some watercolors, splashed them on some paper, scanned them in with the scanner. All right. Now, if we select these, you know, if you want to make a custom brush, you click and drag around it with this marquee selection tool. Go to Edit, Define Brush Preset. Now, if we did this right away, it wouldn't be as a solid uh, fill when you use the custom brush. So we just need, need to do one step here. All right. So once you have one of these open, just go to Image, Adjustments, and then go down to Threshold. So that's Image, Adjustments, Threshold. And what you want to do is drag that middle one over to the right until you have the content that you want. Maybe not way over to the left, not over to the, too much to the right. Something like that. And click OK. And then click and drag around the area. Now you could make custom brushes just out of just one of these. You just click and drag around that. But for this I'll just create the, select the entire thing. And go to Edit, Define Brush Preset, and then type in the name. All right. Go ahead and repeat that for all five of them. I've already done that for time's sake, so just select all of that or just certain parts of it, whatever you want to create for the brush. And what will happen is when you go to your brush and click this little down arrow up on the top, you have these five brushes here. All right. And you can press the left or the right bracket to make it larger, or of course you can select the size up here too. Just make sure opacity is set to 100% and flow is set to 100%. All right, I'm going to delete a couple of these layers so I can just start uh, pretty much from the beginning here so you can follow along. I'm going to delete this mask as well. All right. First thing you want to do is open up the other support file. It's just this person jumping here, all right, under Creative Commons. So I'm giving credit in the, uh, all these links are in the bottom of the, the YouTube below the video in the description and also on the photoshoptutorialsandtips.com website. All right, so open that up in Adobe Photoshop as well. And uh, you just want to do a selection around them and just delete the background. And I have a longer, uh, actually three or four techniques on how to do that. In another YouTube video, just look that up on my channel on how to remove a background. Uh, with this one, I just use the quick selection tool, and you can just click and drag around them for the most part and get a good selection. I mean, it may not be perfect. I mean, that's pretty good there, just missing the shoe. What you can do is just use a polygonal lasso tool, just hold down Shift, and that'll add to it. Or actually, on this one, you want to subtract from so Alt or option on the Mac and you just click and let go, click and let go, click and let go and then you have that and um, I'm going to also select this area here if you select everything but him like I did here we'll just need to go to select inverse select inverse, It'll probably easier on this example so you just have him selected alright so just him selected press control J or command J on the Mac and then you'll just have him in its own layer alright so either one of these will work. Um, so the idea is just to have, make sure you have him in his own layer, like this. Now but before we start working on this layer, you want to go ahead and just press Control J on the PC, Command J on the Mac, and do that twice. So we have these three layers, basically the same thing. The one right above them, the original, right there, the one in the middle basically. Click and drag that out, hold shift if you want to maintain the proportion, but it's not really a big deal because we're going to be erasing part of this. But just bring that up a little bit from where he is and press enter to apply these changes. And then finally, the one on the bottom, click and drag that out, just so you have three of them, something like that. All right, then just press enter. All 
For now, go ahead and press the icon next to the uh, bottom two right here so you don't see, see I'm hitting the icon on layers palette so you don't see those other ones. Now we just need to add some mask. So make sure you have that top layer selected. Add a mask right here in the bottom of the layers palette. And I'm going to zoom in here so you can kind of see better. On this one, we just want to paint some black in. So by default, it's just a white mask. Everything shows through. I'm going to actually create a new layer, drag it to the bottom of all those, and I'm going to fill it. Just press Alt Backspace. Solid background here. And select the brush tool, and we're going to choose one of our custom brushes. So I'm going to choose this one right here first. Select the mask. That's very important. Make sure you have that white box selected. All right. And just paint some black in. You'll see what it does. It just erases out, mass out. And I'm just pressing the left bracket to resize it, make it smaller, or the right bracket to make it larger on the go. So I'm going to choose this second one here just for some variety so it doesn't look kind of uniform. You can also resize often. I'm going to choose the third one here. And then we're basically just masking out just where uh, the area, if he's jumping from the right to the left, if you can just imagine like him jumping almost like in a science fiction kind of thing where his atoms are catching up with him, something like that. It's kind of the look, dispersion technique. Um, this one's more solid, but it's got some smaller edges here that can be helpful. And finally, I use the fifth one here. It's smaller. Okay. Now, choose the one right below it, All right, this medium one, and add a mask to that one. And immediately we want to press uh, Alt Backspace or Option Delete on the Mac. And that will fill this mask with black, which masks out the entire thing. So instead of painting on black, now we're going to paint on white. So flip those by clicking that double side arrow. And we want to just paint in some white there so it will show through a little bit over to the right hand side so if he's jumping from the right and down you can kind of think he's in some area here and you can kind of see the border there we're gonna fix that in a second don't worry and I'm gonna actually resize this a little bit so that's down a little bit there okay and you wanna do the same thing to the next one here add a layer mask, fill it with black. Since black is our background, we can actually press Control Backspace or Command Delete on the Mac and that will fill whatever the background color is. And then again, we want to paint some white in here. To fill that in. Now what you want to do, it's too much. It's We want it a little bit stronger, closer to them, but not farther away. So just flip this so you paint some black in. So we're going to mask out a little bit. And if you're not sure what's what, just press the icon. You can kind of see what's what like so. Um, especially on this one here, I need to delete a little bit. Maybe this fourth one here too. this we don't need. Okay. So you mask out and then mask in and just experiment until you come up with the right look with these various uh, splash brushes that we have created. Alright, and that's pretty much it. Um, you know, it can look like my other example I have on here or um, like this one we just created really quickly. But take a lot more time uh, with your actual example if you want to use this for a portfolio or some kind of special technique in a project that you're working on. That's just a dispersion effect. 
with uh, some custom brushes from some scanned uh, watercolor splashes that I created. Alright, thanks.